they want me to catch them and like bring them out front so their kids can play with them. I'm not telling them that. Go. You did it? Good job. They're fun, right? Yeah. And I think those are veins moving. Yeah, the veins are moving around, aren't they? this feeling that you have outgrown your personal space. I think it's time to leave you guys outside for good. You look like you're all fully feathered except Mr. White there. And he's looking pretty good actually. Yeah, I think today's the day. Bumble, what are you doing? Bumble, oh my goodness. She's like, what do I do? This is too skinny to perch on if it keeps moving. I can't get my balance. Come on. I'm still not sure if Bubble's a boy or a girl. He, she, definitely has some pink in his comb. But at six weeks, it should be a lot redder, I think. I don't know. Hey, big baby. It's time to go outside. Hey, friends, you wanna get out of the box? You wanna get out of the box, huh? Hello, cuties. Hello, cuties. There you go, chickens. Chickens, chickens. Well, that was dumb. I turned the hose on low so that I could fill up the baby things and the baby things didn't need it and I forgot about the hose and I didn't realize it wasn't running through the hose. When I came back over here, I've got three inches of standing water by the corner of my house. Crud, what do I do now? The only thing I could find was this thing. I'm gonna try and be diverted away from the house, but I don't know if it's gonna work. The ground is pretty soft. Good grief. Well, sort of worked. I don't know. Dad says it's not necessary. Yeah. Good morning Seekers, I'm glad you found us today. It's Monday morning and as you can see, I got the teen chickens out and I think I'm gonna leave them out. They are turning six weeks in two days and they're fully feathered and they're huge. They are way too big for my brooder now and it's time, it's time for them to be outside. I think they'll be fine. So that's my plan. Um, probably later on today, we have people coming to look at the little babies that are running around with the mom out there. Um, they want me to catch them and like bring them out front so their kids can play with them because they're going to be adopting them when they get to be about six to eight weeks old. So, wish us luck on that one. That ought to be an interesting fight. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But, oh, the time keeps passing. I've been sitting here for like, feels like only like 20 minutes, but it's really more like two, three hours. Well, I was outside doing, you saw, crazy outside duty this morning, but... Yeah, it's like 11.30 and the kids are still lazy. And you know, like it's the last week of school. I'm not telling them that because we keep going as long as they'll do it. But anyway, I'm tired. I needed sleep. I, I got a lot of sleep last night, but I don't feel like I got enough. Anyway, Virginia, her friend, her friend's mom called me last night. They want to do a birthday party over Zoom for her so that I don't have to do it. I don't know why they're doing that, but thank you. That's awesome. <laughs> right, right, Eloise? It's awesome of Jordan to offer to do a Virginia birthday party. She's turning 12 in two days. Can you believe that? Two days. And so she's got to make a list of all the people she wants to come to the Zoom party. And we're going to see if we can work out some kind of party favor or something that we can take to each of the girls. Some of them live far away, though, so I don't know how that will work out. But anyway... I gotta get myself up and moving right now. Well, looks like Dave is gonna go take the kids with him to get chicken food. I'm just gonna stay home and try and catch those baby birds for my friend. She's gonna be here in two hours, take a shower. But I think that's a good field trip for a Monday science day. And you know what else, you guys? 
Can you believe I completely forgot? I told you on Saturday that I was gonna candle those chicken eggs and I never did it because I was exhausted after that wedding and then I forgot about it yesterday because it was Mother's Day. So we totally have to candle those chicken eggs today too. So today's all about chickens. Baby chickens, chicken feed, chicken eggs. Oh wait, isn't it always all about chickens around here? It's so funny how we've gone from all about dance competitions to all about chickens. with Dave getting chicken food. And it's almost time for my friends to come and play with their baby chickens. So that leaves means it's up to me to try and catch them. Wish me luck, guys, because this is gonna be next to impossible. I found some, but none of them are the ones that I wanna grab for Emily Jean. That one there is Sheik. She's mine. She's got Sky, Owl, Sheik, and Cookie, and I need Cookie. Okay, well, me luck. Cookie's coming over. Maybe she'll come. The problem is I haven't really trained these little ones to do this. The older ones would come in half a sec, but these ones are panicking because mom is panicking. Clear over there. Chick, 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 chicks. Chick, 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 chick. Come on, babies. Hey, owl. That's the one I want right there, Cookie. See her? She's the one I want. Just gotta sit here and be patient, I guess. Tick, 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 tick. Not you, Dotty Dots. No, no, it's the babies. It's the babies. Oh, Curly Sue. Not you either. I don't want any of you guys. I finally caught this one and I realized this is candy, not cookie. Hey, candy girl. I think it might be an Easter egg, -er, but I honestly have no idea. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And the problem is, the box I brought, she can totally jump right out. Yeah, that's a problem. Don't know what I'm gonna do about that. See how she does in there. Can she get out of there? Let's find out. Can you get out of there, candy? So Cookie's actually over there with Lemon and Cheetah around the back. I've locked her in and she's not happy because she knows I took one. So far, so good with Candy staying in there. But I gotta get Cookie to come around this other side. Come on, Cook, Cook, Cook. Come on, little Cookie. There she is. She's really hard to catch, though. Got her. <laughs> hey, Cookie. Cutie pie. You're happy now with the tree, aren't you, Cookie and Candy? Now I just gotta find Puff. And what's the other one? Freckle. Puff and Freckle, and they're out here somewhere. Oh, there they are. There they are. Right there with that other chicken. Wish me luck. She only has those two, so it might be really, really hard to get them away. Oh my goodness. It's one of the scariest things I've ever done in my life. I think she's still gonna attack me. Problem is trying to take two babies away from a chicken who wants two babies. But I got him. All four. Oh, my heck. I don't know how this is gonna go. 
enough that they can't get scared, but not so tight that they get squoes. You're doing a perfect job. <laughs> yeah, Freckle likes you. That's great. She likes to perch because she's a little older. <laughs> she's one of my favorites. <laughs> yep. Now, if one of these turns out to be a boy, you'll have to choose a different one. We've got lots. But these are the four I thought were the nicest looking. They're fun, right? What's crazy is that if you guys come back next week, they'll look like bigger, bigger birds. And the bigger they are, they'll be the harder for me to catch. So, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. They grow real fast. Cute. And you guys can change their names, definitely. Like, you don't have to keep my names. It just helps me to keep track. They're all, they're supposed to be all girls. You want a girl named Bob? <laughs> you can, why not? I call this Bob Kid Bob. <laughs> well, they do kind of bob their heads sometimes. <laughs> She's gonna look for her mom now. She'll run away from you, so be careful. And of course, it's 10 o'clock and I forgot to candle the eggs again. I really, really need to do that. It's day 10, if I don't do it today, I'm gonna regret it. So, I guess I'm gonna do that now. All right, egg number one, day 10. Got a lot of veins and a movie kicky baby. Right, Jasper? Yeah, and I think those are veins moving. Yeah, the veins are moving around, aren't they? Because the baby's moving around. That's oh, super that's easy to see that one, huh? Yeah, the baby. Pretty cool. Wait, the big cube. All right, here's an example of one I think did not make it. So it's day 10 and it does look kind of big enough, but there's no vein in here. And as you saw from the last one, there should be. There's lots of floating one, veins, little dots of veins. bits and stuff, and that has been a bad sign for us in the past. I'll leave this one in, but I will mark it with an O, which means I think it's not a good egg. There is a embryo, but it's very, it's not moving by itself, unless I shook it around like that. There you go, can you see that moving around in there? Another bitty one. Another sad one, when that started, but you can see there's no veins. It's teeny tiny, probably stopped growing at like day six, maybe five, yeah. I'll mark an O on that one, I'm sure it won't make it. <laughs> Alright, so out of all 22, there was only one that was not fertile, and there were three that had babies that looked like they started to grow but were not viable, but I'm leaving them in here because you just never know. Miracles can happen. So that takes our total down to 18, but I saw moving, moving around birds and veining in all 18, so wish us luck, seekers. Maybe we'll have a better hatch this time. You're scared? Turn the light on. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Comment! Subscribe and seek your tooth. Bye, seekers. Find us later.